this made me very happy. This whole, this, I took a workshop to learn this, by the way. I'm so excited to share this with you. Be prepared to take notes. Right now, what I'm about to give you changed my everything. I did this in person and booked a meeting. This is a, a, a template. One, two, three, four, five. Five step template to literally give you the confidence to reach out and cold call anybody. <laughs> This makes me so happy. <laughs> Let me just, and again, I'm gonna write it out for you. And I actually may even, here it is. I may even um, make a specific blog post. So if you're following me on Substack, this might be one of those um, paid only posts. Okay, this is a cold reach out. Five simple steps, master these five steps and you will be able to reach out to any potential client anytime in any scenario email phone in person boom 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 okay let's get into it so ha huh, number one the very first thing that you have to do before you even get to this list this is a fucking given okay know who you're reaching out to know who you're reaching out to. Like the, if you're at this point and you're watching this video, you already know who that person is that you're trying to reach out to. And if you don't, I'll have to make another video on how to find the right people to reach out to. But assume that you've found the correct contact for the company that you're trying to work with. You've been on their profile. You've got their email address. You know who you need to reach. All this is necessary before you do these steps. You can use LinkedIn. You can use Google Maps. You can, that links you to websites. You can walk neighborhoods, walk your neighborhood. There's so many ways that you can find potential clients that you can then research, find out who the point person is. The research is the first part of this effort to finding potential clients. If you're not dialed into your niche, well, this is hard as hell. Do you see how Rohan and his product photography and the type of work that he does is so perfectly niche that he knows exactly the type of clients to send his work to, right? So you can see how the, this all works with your niche. Once you nail your niche, you nail your consistency, you shoot personal work to fill holes with your portfolio that's specifically targeted to getting more clients. All of this shit works together. And it's like, you can see not finding your niche and then trying to cold call people and target work. It's like impossible. You see? So there's so many ways, as I've said, to find who these clients are. I'm assuming now that you've niched enough that you know the type of people who would hire you. Um, again, if you're not dialed into your niche, this whole shit's just not gonna work. Um, and if that's the case, your target market isn't defined, like the whole, your whole, sh it just, you need help. If that's the case, like message me, get at me, <laughs> we'll do one-on-one -on -one consulting. But um, once you know that person, once you know the who, this is the five things that you have to have tight and then you'll work for everybody. Watch this. Number one. What is the reason for your inquiry, call, or email? What's your reason? So once you have your reason, I'm going to give you some examples, okay? Formerly, in a formal way, this is what you got to get across. The reason that I'm reaching out to you today is I'm a professional photographer and a videographer, and I noticed that you dot, dot, dot. Or, hey, I was on LinkedIn today and I noticed that your content keeps popping up in my feed, dot, dot, dot. Hey, I opened Twitter today and I couldn't help but notice that you and I both are liking the same post, like have a reason for the call. And 
that reason comes from the research you've done you've seen stuff that they do you know that they have horrible headshots you know that they have a poor website you know that they have no social media presence you've done the research that's why number one you have a reason for the call okay that's number one that's the first thing and that's your opener the reason that I'm reaching out to you is I'm a professional photographer, videographer, and I noticed this, okay? That's number one, lock that in. Number two, very, and you have to do all of these. If you don't do any of these, it's not gonna work. Number two, this is the next very important thing. Oh, my pen. Ooh. Okay, the next important thing is the compliment. The next important thing is the compliment. Hey, I really loved what you did here with, oh my God, when I saw that you were the one that designed dot, dot, dot. Oh my God, when I looked at this, I felt so dot, dot, dot. Do actual research. When you're coming with a compliment of someone that you're wanting to work with, a genuine compliment about something that they're actually working on. I really loved this because, oh my God, it made me feel this. And oh my God, I can't believe you worked on this. I also care about this stuff. Dive into older work that this person has done so it proves to them, oh my God, you know that they worked at Bell Mobility three years ago and also did that campaign back then. You deep dive so you know that, so you can say, I've been looking at your work since back then, okay? Compliment, very, very important. By the way, people can spot bullshit a mile away. So you have to do the research and actually be genuine. Make a genuine compliment about something that actually moved you, okay? That's number two. Number three. And this is super important. Number three, oh my God, this pen. Number three is your anchor. What is the anchor? And the anchor is a common ground that ties you and this potential client together. You're on LinkedIn. Oh my God, you have some of the same people in your network. Oh, did you go to the same school? Or well, maybe you share, you guys both ride bikes, you both fly drones. Maybe you were at the same event. Find common ground, find an anchor point. Oh my God, you have a boy and a girl. I have a boy and a girl. How old's your boy? Eight, my God, my guy, my boy's seven. Like find a common ground and that comes when you're doing the research. You'll see that you know the same person. You'll see that you went to that same event. And this all comes from preparation. Preparation just quashes fear and throws it out the window. Once you do this research, once you actually know this information about that who, sky's the limit. You know more about them than they know about you and you're gonna come hit them with these five things and you're gonna get work, okay. Anchor, number four, value. What is the value that you're bringing to the table? And forget about yourself in this situation. Forget about money, forget about anything that could possibly come out of this that benefits you as a photographer. Forget about any of that. What value are you able to offer to them? Anything, literally. The only thing that I want you to think about is what can you give them for free? What could you share with them? Is it an article that they might like? Is it an inspirational thing? Is it a photograph that you just shot that aligns perfectly with something that they worked on? Like, what can you give them? What gift? can you give them? What piece of value can you give them for free right then? Okay. That's number four. What's your value? Okay. You should know this. And again, if you're niche, niche down, you'll know exactly what your value, you know, exactly what you can give them. You'll know exactly 
what you bring to the table and you'll have a print a jpeg something that you can like hey look at this isn't this cool i thought you might like it oh my god i read this article it talks about the type of design that you like have you seen it and then the ask this is the last one the ask and after one two three four five once i mean four once you get to five to the ask once you've provided value, once you've created an anchor, once you've dropped that compliment, and once you have a reason for the call, it's time for the ask. And the ask should be simple. Hey, I found this really cool thing. I shot this really cool thing. Uh, I read this amazing article on something that looks very cool and like something that you'd be into. Here's the ask. Would it be all right if I shared it with you? Would you mind if I shared that with you? And they might say yes. They might say no. And that's cool. Here's another ask. Oh my God, I just shot some new work that might be right up your alley. Would you be cool with doing like a quick Zoom chat over a coffee, both of us having coffee? Or, oh my God, if we can meet in person, would you be cool with getting together for a coffee so I can share this with you? Like, understand that once you get to that ask, it's all about and if they say, yes, I'd love to meet you for a coffee, that's great. Yeah, please share it with me. That's Now, once you actually are hanging out with them, the whole point, if you get a, a reply with the yes, share that little piece of value. And if, if, they're, if they're able to ask them to hang out for a coffee, have a Zoom chat, a FaceTime call, know that when you do get that ask what you're trying to do and this is kind of a bonus because the ask is number five what you're trying to do after you share that little piece of value that print that postcard that newsletter that thing that is actually a piece of value don't share nothing you only get a uh, one chance to make a first impression share something that through your research you've learned would be of value to them because you know they like it because you've done the research okay find out if you can get a in-person meeting with that person hey do you have five minutes for a coffee do you have five minutes for uh can i come by can i drop by your office like try to just get them to see you in person that is the only goal once they see you in person then they know you and clients hire people that they know so the only goal through this five-step process is for you to be on a video chat zoom facetime skype where they can actually see you see your passion and enthusiasm and that's the last part of this equation passion and enthusiasm is how you work nobody wants to work with like a doug downer hey how's it going oh i'm cool yeah blah, blah. hey man yo i'm so hype about making this photos today dude this is gonna be crazy i'm so happy you hired me i got fucking goosebumps dude I'm so blessed to finally be working with you. I'm so happy you replied to my email. Dude, look at me. I'm so, uh, I don't know, man. Like, it's cool. You know, I'm thinking about my work. It's like, who do you want to work for, dude? Who do you want to work with as a creative? You want to work with the guy that's motivated, the guy that's hyped, the guy that's animated. You know, just think of examples of successful photographers and how much of that animated personality that you know. Think of Peter McKinnon, think of Maddie, think of all of these ways that photographers use video as a weapon. Our last weapon with closing that deal, FaceTime, Skype, video chat, and oh my God, if you can make it happen in person. Once that happens, done. Now, I'm gonna tell you how I did it with this barbershop. That is the five key things that you have to do in order to master every cold call. Let me know if that's helpful. 